Questions 42 to 43 in the Acer blue paper. Question 42. When a sample of the polymer polyethene is heated in an oven, it quickly shrinks to less than half of its initial size. From the reaction that occurs when the polyethene is heated, it can be deduced that. So because this is a spontaneous reaction, we know that the change in Gibbs free energy is going to be negative. So negative. We can also figure out what, what the change in enthalpy is. So in this instance, our polyethene, the polymer, is going to be absorbing energy from its environment. So it's being heated in an oven, therefore it is taking in energy um, as heat energy. And therefore the change in H, uh, also known as the change in enthalpy, is going to be positive because this is an example of a um, endothermic overall reaction. From there we can figure out what the change in value of S is. So we know that this describes the overall reaction that's going on. So if change in G is negative and change in H is positive, well, what we know is that this whole side of the equation has to be overall once you add it all up, a negative number. So therefore, if this whole side is a negative number and change in H is a positive number, and we're subtracting something from change in H, therefore this, the T times change in S, must be overall positive. So therefore, since we also know that change in T, sorry, that T is positive, a positive number, because the heat is very high, so that therefore the temperature is very high, therefore, we can say that change in S is a positive number. So with this all in mind, with the respective values that we figured out, change in S is positive, we can confidently say that the correct answer for question 42 is A. Question 43. When potassium nitrate crystals are dissolved in water, a temperature drop is observed. From this observation, predict the signs of S and H when potassium nitrate is crystallized from an aqueous solution. So the number one trick that you've got to pick up here is that we're going from a solution to the crystallized form in the question. So we're going from liquid to solid. Now, what the tricky part is, is that the initial sort of uh, stem, that first sentence, tells us what happens when potassium nitrate crystals are dissolved in water. So that is what happens when you go from solid to liquid. But the actual question is asking us for what happens when you go from liquid to solid. So anything that we sort of find in that first part of the stem, when potassium goes from uh, solid to liquid, we've got to reverse that to actually answer the question. So, uh, when we're going from, from liquid, sorry, from solid to liquid, um, in the initial part, so when we're dissolving the potassium nitrate, what is happening is a drop in water temperature is occurring. So therefore, um, so therefore that reaction is endothermic as the potassium nitrate crystals are taking in energy from the environment and therefore, uh, leaving less heat energy in the water. So therefore, we can say that the change in H is positive as it is endothermic. Um, what we also know is that when we go from a solid to a liquid in general, that is an increase in entropy. So we'd expect our change in S to be positive. So for our actual answer, well, we've got to reverse all of that. So change in H is negative and change in S is negative. So the correct answer for question 43 is therefore D.